Who's excited about Christmas? Not, not really. Me. I know. What you get? I mean, you know, what's it all about? I don't get it. When we was, I Christmas. What's the big deal? It's about it's about seeing your family and friends. Yeah. It's not presents. about presents. Yeah, no. uh, no. I'm see no. a called Animal Anarchy, and I'm going to read you some stories from Animal Anarchy Book One. Does anybody know what anarchy means? Go on. Uh, Let me yeah, what are you thinking? That means you're not quite sure. So I'll tell you what it means. Anarchy in the dictionary means state of disorder. Now, does anybody understand that? Yeah. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What it means is what we call a moral to the story. Oh, I know what a moral is. You know what a moral is. You've been doing that at school? I know a moral means that, um, like, it's the main part of the story. It's like That's a same. lesson to learn from. Yeah. Is that what you were going to say? I want to get that. You want to go to the toilet? <laughs> What's that got to do with morals? Oh, she could. Homes. Uh, Who's ever heard of a poem? Uh, no, oh, yeah, yeah, haven't. They're yeah, called yeah. poems. P O E M S. Right? Oh. And he looks very grumpy. Peter. Peter. So, first Peter. one. Peter Percival Pike was a fish that nobody liked. The reason could be summed up fully in Peter Percy Pike, who was a big, fat bully. Just because he was biggest, he chased the other fish. To make their lives a misery seemed his only wish, saying, come on, let's be friends. I'm really sweet as honey. But when he got up close, he'd steal their pocket money. He ended up as a trophy. He ended up being stuffed and put on the wall in the pub. So, That's mean. Sorry? That's mean. It is a bit mean, isn't it? But, you know, life isn't always sweet and simple. Sometimes. Mabel was in for quite a shock. For oh. there upon the hearth rug, the Bertie lay a snoring with his bum towards the fire and his feet up in the air, clawing, and his stomach churned and gurgled, and all that food fermented, and by his gaseous rumblings, Bertie was tormented. <laughs> Bertie, what's wrong, you, she called. It made the budgie jump. By heck, he cried, me poor insides, and he let forth such a trump. Did you have a nice time, love? He politely inquired. I, I, I did, thanks. But was that your bum on fire? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not at all. There's a number of lessons to learn in this one. And that is, we have to be aware of what we eat, right? We have to know, it's not a burger, it's a cow. Right? So eating meat isn't a bad thing, and that po this poem is not saying don't eat meat, that's up to everybody to make your own decision. But what it's saying is just be aware of what it is you are eating. Just be, just be. And there's another lesson in there as well, because he leaves home and he's only little. What's the one thing he does that you should never, ever do? Never talk to a stranger. Never talk to a stranger. Never get into a car with a stranger. You would never do that, would you? You know, some people do genuinely want to help. But one thing you would never do is expose yourself, put yourself in a position like getting into a car with somebody where you're trapped, where you're caught. You know, if you fall down and somebody helps you up, then you would say thank you. Even if